another problem a crane truck a crane truck is uh, pulling another car number 12 On horizontal route for distance of one kilometer. Okay. In this case, the tension force separated into two forces or splitting in two forces. Force called F T cosine sixty and another force that raises the car upward F T sine sixty. The car moves under this under the effect of this force. So work done equals F D. In this case, the force that uh, put the car equals F T cosine 60 times displacement. Work equals 10 power 5 equals F T cosine 60 times D1 kilometer equals 1000 meters. So if t equals 10 by 5 over cosine 60 times 1000 equals 200 Newton. Question number 13. How long should be the length of the second hand of a watch? So we have a watch and second hand. We need to calculate of the length of second hand. Of which if the average uh, centripetal acceleration AC for a point at the tip of this second hand equals 9.8 times 10 to the power negative 3. Okay. AC equals V square over R. We need to calculate R. So AC we have AC well we we didn't have velocity, so we should calculate velocity 2 by R over time D equals 2 by R over time when this the, the second hand R uh, moves one complete revolution, it takes 60 seconds. One minute, right? So we can uh, uh, substitute V by this value AC which equals 9.8 times 10 to the power negative 3 equals V square 2 by R over 60 all power 2 over R so 9.8 times 10 to the power negative 3 equals 4 by square R square over 60 square times 1 over r. r cancel with square so in this case r r equals 9.8 times 10 to the power negative 3 times 60 square over 4 by square calculate it 10 to the power negative 3 times 60 square over 4 times by square equals 0.89 meters approximately 89 centimeters Okay, another problem, 14. <clears throat> a man of weight a man of weight 645 Newton uh, is carrying a suitcase of mass 7.5 kilograms while cl uh, climbing a mountain. Okay, the man climbs a mountain his weight 645 Newton and the suitcase 
7.5 kilogram to a height of 8.2 the height equals 8.2 above the surface of the earth calculate the work done by the man we need to calculate the work you should know that in this case there are two rules to calculate the work ممكن نحسبها من work equals f d لو عندنا دي هنجيبها من الرول دي طب لو مش عندنا work convert into potential energy يعني ممكن نقول work in this case هو هو potential energy and potential energy equals m total mass times g times the height we have height g and mass mass of man equals weight over g equals his weight 645 over 10 equals 64.5 kilogram so total mass equals mass of the man 64.5 plus mass of the suitcase 7.5 equals Seven two kilograms. Now we want to calculate the work equals mgh total mass seventy two times g ten times height eight point two equals seventy two times ten times eight point two equals five thousand nine hundred four. Jones. Okay, another problem fifteen. If the distance between the centers of the sun and the earth is decreased to how? Our life, you can add the two first. Distance R two equals half R one. Sun and Earth, the distance between them decreases to half. R2, R1. R2 equals half R1. We can say R1 equals to R2. Calculate the number of days required time, T2. Number of days of the year on Earth, assuming that the time of rotation of the Earth around its axis is the same. He wants to say that. Uh, the day in the second case equals day in the first case, 24 hours. Okay. V equals 2 by R over T. Also, it equals when an object rotates around the sun equals square root G capital in the capital of the sun over R. So V1 in the first case, 2 by R1, T1, G capital M sun over R1. In the second case, V2, 2 by R2 over T2 equals square root G capital M sun over R2, right? From the first equation and second equation, from the first equation, by, uh, by uh, square the two sides, 4 by square R1 square over T1 square equals G capital M sun over R1. So we can say that G capital M sun equals 4 by square R1 bar 3 over T1 square. From the second equation, V2 equals 2 by R2, 4 by square R2, square over T2 square equals G capital M sun over R2. So we can say that G capital M sun equals 4 by square R2 bar 3 over T2 square. G capital, uh, G capital M sun 
and G capital M sum. The left side equals left side. So right side equals right side. 4 bar square R1 bar 3 over T1 square equals 4 by square R2 bar 3 over T2 square. 4 by cancel with, with 4 by. Substitute. We have R1 equals to R2. R1, R1, 2, R2, R bar 3 over T1, which equals <coughs> the year uh, 365.25 times, we can uh, uh, substitute in day. We, can, we shouldn't. Uh, convert it in seconds equals r2 bar 3 over t2 square 1 to 2 calculate t2 square equals r2 bar 3 over 8 r2 bar 3 times 365.25 R2 bar 3 cancel with R2 bar 3. So T2 equals square root 365 square over 8. Square root 365.25 over square over 8 equals 129.13 days okay another question 16 <coughs> Muhammad and Ahmad are playing by throwing ice balls of different masses against each other. The Bad, I suppose. As a result in the opposite figure, arrange the balls based on the total force. That Tibum has a total force acting on each of them during their motion. You should know that they uh, throw the balls with constant velocities. So in this case, when you throw a ball, it moves with constant velocity. So this speed, they move in constant velocity. So they fall under the effect of gravity. So the, in, the only acceleration that acts on them is G. So they fall under the effect of their weight. So the force acting by these poles equals their weight. So we should calculate weight of A, if G. A equals its mass times G equals 0.4 times nine, uh, times uh, 10 0.4 times 10 equals 4 newton fg of uh, ball b equals its mass uh, 300 grams which equals 0.3 kilograms 0.3 times 10 equals 3 newton fc uh, 200 grams, which means 0.2 kilogram times 10 equals 0.2 times 10 equals 2 newton. Fd equals 500 grams, 0.5 kilogram times 10 equals 5 newton. Fe 400 grams, 0.4 kilogram times 10 equals 4 newton. So Explain your answer. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, arrange them. The FD greater than FE and FE equals FA. And both of them greater than FD greater than FC. 
okay another problem the opposite the opposite figure illustrates a simple pendulum moving from position A to B to C from A to B to C a simple pendulum moves from A to B to C okay in this direction draw on the following graph energy energy change with time uh, each of potential energy kinetic energy and the me mechanical energy for the pendulum with time at three positions a b and c at position a kinetic energy equals zero while potential energy is maximum then at point b potential equals zero while kinetic energy is maximum potential becomes zero at point p while kinetic becomes maximum all stored energy all kinetic sorry all potential energy changes into kinetic energy at this uh, point then at point c at point c potential becomes maximum while kinetic energy equals zero kinetic energy equals zero while potential becomes maximum so we yeah potential decreases gradually from when the ball moves from a to b then it increases again by decreasing potential energy kinetic energy increases and at point B, all stored energy, all potential energy changes into kinetic energy. Then, from moving from B to C, kinetic energy decreases, and potential energy increases. Kinetic energy and potential energy. Okay, now we want to uh, draw the, the line that represents mechanical energy. Mechanical energy is constant and equals summation of potential energy and kinetic energy so the line that represents potential sorry mechanical energy can be drawn as figure mechanical energy this time okay thank you